Hello. It is my birthday. So today, do something a little different. Might be a little strange, but I think it's going to be fun. I'm going to talk about my favorite guitar pedals of 1982. I know a few of them. I'm going to dig around and uh, double check some stuff. And we're going to see where it goes from there. something in the mail. I know it seems like I get something every day here lately. That's kind of been the case. Either way, you get to enjoy it as well. I have been hunting down fuzzes. I think you saw the absurd amount of fuzzes in uh, the last video. And there was a fuzz that I really loved. It was one of the first fuzzes that I ever got. And I remember liking it and then getting rid of it because I, I didn't understand fuzz. I was trying to use it wrong. I didn't have the whole concept that you don't play a fuzz pedal like you normally play. You play your guitar to the needs of the fuzz pedal. Like fuzz has its own thing. It's, a, it's an instrument in itself. And when I learned that, I've always thought about this pedal and been like, man, I really want to grab another one. So the Seymour Duncan Tweak Fuzz. These came out in the 2000s. This whole line is really clever. They had one called the Pickup Booster, I believe. Really sturdy. I actually love how it looks. It's kind of quirky, label maker-esque thing going on. You got this wicked sweet font down there. And so what happens is volume, the tweak is like, instead of a normal tone control, you're, you're sliding through different roll-offs. I'm pretty sure it's like changing capacitors um, in the low pass filter, I believe, or the high pass, I'm not real sure. This is a really great fuzz. I had played one at a music store recently and, and in that moment realized, hey, I need to get another one of these. So adding this to the collection, the Seymour Duncan Tweak Fuzz. <laughs> So the year is 1982 and I'm born, but there's other stuff going on. E.T. is going on. Larry Bird's in his third year in the NBA. Like he's a big deal, but he's not like as big a deal as he's going to be. You've got the police. You've got the cure. You got Eye of the Tiger blowing up the radio. Come on Eileen blowing up the radio. What else? The Atari. You're playing your Atari right now. And Ronald Reagan's the president. 82 was a big year. It was also a big year for guitar because there was stuff available that had never been available before. So I had this idea, what if I build a guitar rig out of the things that were available in 1982? What if me now could go back in time and build a guitar rig with only the things available from that year? Would that be entertaining? I'm not sure, but let's do it. What were you doing in 1982? Dude, I wasn't born yet. <laughs> Hope, Hope, what were you doing in 1982? Not existing, So what, sure. what was your favorite guitar? My favorite guitar, oh man. Uh, one with the, all the strings. What was your favorite guitar pedal when you weren't existing in 1982? Probably something that had a flanger in it. What were you doing in 1982, man? one year old. All right. Hey, Josh, what were you doing in 1982? Swimming around in my dad's testicles. Happy birthday. What were you doing in 1982? Uh, my body or my soul? Which one? Both. Body? I was probably like a little piece of protein, but my soul, probably under like the wings of eagles. Okay, so how do I start this process? to build a rig from 1982. I think the best place to start is to put things in front of me that were in front of everyone in 1982. I got MXR, things like a Distortion Plus. I got the DOD goods, the 250, one of my personal kind of favorites I never see anybody use, the Bifet Preamp 410, Fender Blender. I've got an old analog 680 uh, DOD delay, tone bender. I got a Vox Wah, late 70s, in the bag. 
Does the bag smell good? No. But does the wah wah? Yes. And you know you're gonna wah your brains out and you're gonna carry this around town like a bad boy. I have a boss chorus ensemble. I got OD1s. I got slow gears. Why do I have a G6? Because they hadn't figured out the 7 yet. The GE7. Adding the extra slider was something that 1982 did not offer us. I got DS1s, Mutrons, Electric Mistresses. I can't leave this guy out. The rat, not just a rat, a big box rat with the Sound Inc. logo. Ram's Head, VB2, couple old memory man. I got a late 70s and I got the 82 model. Let's do this. Let's dive in and build my rig from 82. guys I did all that work getting the board going about to put the power supply on and I realized it's 1982 it's not 2018 there were no power supplies like that maybe if you could pull for a Cornish rig if you're David Gilmore but for us normal people no no power supplies there weren't even easily accessible boards I gotta rethink this. Gotta be a little more simple. So without a power supply, how do I power my pedals? You use batteries and you use a lot of extension cables, like this stuff. Power strips, you just make it work. And everybody has like a hundred of these things from Christmas when you're plugging in the tree. We're just gonna make it work. fun experience and I'm a little more confused than I thought it would be because I was pretty confident going in knowing the effects so well and then starting to play them in that way without any of my more modern effects that I'm so used to it made me really question some stuff but one of the big questions is you know I'm assuming that I time travel and go back to 1982 as a 36 year old and this 36 year old got into music via grunge and 90s rock and all of those things and so I play a certain way so I was jumping back into the past trying to play the way that I play and the songs that I've heard and the bands that I like and the things that I love with those effects and most of it was there um, but what if I was in 1982 as a 36 year old who grew up from a earlier time that's a whole other question. I think my rig would probably be significantly different. Um, you know, I might be into different types of music, stuff like that. So it's really hard to say. Either way, it was a blast from the past. That was really good. So for a record today, 
we got to pull one from 1982. So I think the one I want to go with that's never talked about is Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Long After Dark. So it's his fifth album with the Heartbreakers. And because of the insane amount of hit songs that Tom Petty has, like if you've ever seen him live, if you ever had the chance to do that, it's like one song after another is famous, huge radio anthem, famous, huge, and it's just like the whole show. Like if you ever did get to see him, you notice that. And this record is fantastic and it's amazing, um, but it's just full of sleeper songs that not everyone knows. So it's a really fun one to dig back to. So you time travel back 1982 and check this out. In the comments, it'd be fun to hear your favorite record from 82. Maybe dig around Google records 1982 and talk about some stuff from 82. We interrupt this program for party time. My wife surprised me with all the JHS people. Yay! And uh, we're gonna see Solo. Where'd John go? Where's John at? I don't know. Oh. Emma, what was your favorite part? Um, I don't know. You don't know? I like that part too. Cliff, what was your favorite part of Star Trek? Star Wars. Star Trek? Is that what we yes. saw? Thanks again for watching, as always. It's always a joy to share this nerdy information with you and just know that you care. Post some comments, ask some questions. Let's talk about 1982. One thing I would love is if you were a guitar player in 1982, I would absolutely love to hear what was your guitar rig. Like, school me, teach me on what did you use for pedal boards, what was available. Like. Obviously you couldn't go buy a pedal train board, stuff like that. So that's where my mind is as a 36 year old. And I wanna know what was it like. So some of you guys chime in, teach us about 1982. Um, what were your favorite pedals? What was your favorite guitar? What was your favorite amp? What did you love about 1982 as a guitar player? I would absolutely be thrilled to read your comments there. Also, click the bell to subscribe to our page. Hit like if you thought this video was useful and not dumb. And subscribe to our channel uh, for more great things like this. And keep your eyes open for more hot tracks by Nick. Those will be coming up. And you'll hear me talk about those on and off in these episodes. So, thank you so much. Have a great day. I know I am because I was born today. And I don't really know how much better your day can get than that. Pretty good.